sorry for this heinous, atrocious, not fun angle. Still trying to figure out here in this new house, <clears throat> new house, you know, where to place things, good placements, good locations, location, location, location. So, oh, my buttons, gotta make sure they're still there. Okay, all four are still there and intact. So, this is gonna be the 50 plus random slash fun facts, fun facts. This is really hard to do, finger quotations, holding the laptop, but 50 plus fun facts, random facts about me. So, I have been really excited about this video, been wanting to do this for quite some time now. Here I have a chance. I don't want to rush it. I do have things and stuff planned for the day, and it's kind of like a race against time, like beat the clock, crunch time. So, at the same time, I don't want to rush, but I kind of have to. And here we are, page one of nine. <laughs> I've had notes on my phone that I've been adding to. I've had notes here on my laptop that I've been adding to. And then I just mesh the two, phone, laptop. Here we have this Word document, Word file, here on my computer. So, if you want to get to know me, if you want to listen to me talk about myself, then keep on watching. If you want to be here, then sure, be here. I'd love to have you. So, right, fact number one, my name is Emily, in case you do not know, if you're new here. And this is my channel, Emily Euphoria. So that's the first fun fact about me. I guess that was a two-in-one. The channel, the name, the name, the channel. So I don't know if that one really counts. But let's really begin. So, right, people like to talk about themselves. Not everybody, some people, though. And when you're interacting with people, talking to people, communicating, strangers, friends, family, whoever, it's always, okay, not always a good idea, but just like my personal experience, it's always good for me to ask the other person about themselves in case there is an awkward silence or a weird pause, just getting to know people. And so I think it's kind of fun to have people talk about themselves. I mean, like the first day of school I hate because it's like all eyes on you and you're put on the spot. But really, it really helps to learn about people. So maybe you can learn about me today if you want to. Okay, so my notes. Let's go, let's go. My middle name is K. It's K-A-Y, not the initial. There's a lot of confusion there when people ask my full name or my middle name or whatever. My mom's middle name is K, and there's a K on my dad's side of the family. He's got, let's see, his dad's, my grandpa Don's, I believe, sister, K. And there's probably more K's down the line. So... Right, same as my mom, Melissa K, Emily K. So I was born on November 23rd, 1997, so that makes me almost 22, 22 this year, which is 2K19. So I'm a Sagittarius, I'm cool, I don't know if you're a Sagittarius, cool, cool, <laughs> I don't know. So I'm the fourth of five kids, there's Ashley, Montana, Haley, me, Emily, and then Dakota. My dad's Canadian, he lives here in the U.S., and he's not an American citizen, and the family joke, his joke, is that, I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird, but I'll just share it with you guys anyway. The joke is that he wants to, like, pledge his allegiance to the U.S., to America, despite the fact that he's Canadian and not a citizen here, so to do that, he decided to name the boys, his sons, Montana and Dakota, after states, so they're state names. And then Ashley, Haley, and then me, Emily, were the Lees. Lee, Lee, Lee. <laughs> so, you know, the L-E-Y or the L-Y in my case. And if I were a state name, which I would want to be, my brother's name is real cool, Dakota. Well, Montana is cool, too. If I were named Montana, I would go by, like, Monty or something. But it's Montana and Dakota. So Dakota's not Cody, Montana's not Monty. We do have little, like, pet names or, like, family nicknames. But usually we do the full name. I mean, Ashley, Ash, Haley, Hales, Haiti, and then Ashkins, too. And then Ashkins, Ashley, Ashkins will call me Emkins. And then that kind of spiraled into the nicknames. So, but yeah, if I were to stay, I like California, Cali, and then Nevada. Cute, cute, cute. And then there's a Georgia, actually. My brother, Montana, has got this little baby girl, his little daughter. My first niece, hopefully not my last, but anyway, um, her name's Georgia, 
Georgia Grace. They call her Gracie. Cute state name. Okay, so I'm an aunt, so I'm going into that. Um, to four nephews and one niece, and they call me Emmy. So I'm their auntie, and they call me Emmy, which I think is so cute. Okay, so I'm 5'7 and a half. I'm not 5'7. I'm not 5'8. I have been thinking that I was 5'8 for the longest time, and then they checked my height a few appointments ago, like the annual checkup, whatever it's called, and that's, that's my height. So home for me is Richland, Washington. That's my hometown, my place of birth. I was born and raised there. I grew up there. Now here I am. I just recently moved to actually Rexburg, Idaho. So I'm a Washington person. So loves and hugs and kisses from me to Washington. Love it there. Don't know if I would move back there, but I definitely want to visit and go back some places, sites, obviously people and family and friends. Well, don't have any family there anymore. Anyway, so, right, I currently live in Rexburg, Idaho. I moved here in August, which is now. It's the 17th. Hello. Okay, so my childhood best friend, my best friend growing up, her name is Delaney, and I don't know what happened to her or where she went last I checked. I'm not really on Facebook, and I don't like to, like, search people up or stalk people, whatever. But, I mean, I did see some things from her, or I looked her up or something, and we've since lost contact since forever ago, like, since middle school, um, probably, like, sixth grade ago. Anyway, um, so yeah, she has a Facebook. She's, like, never on, doesn't really post that much. I don't know what happened to her. I know that her family have has moved. We used to be like kitty corner neighbors in elementary school. I moved a lot, but we were in that house for like probably, I don't know how many years, but mm, probably like five, I don't know. So we were like two peas in a pod. We were real close, best of friends. We would always get in trouble in class, especially kindergarten. We would just be talking, 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 whispering and being all cute. So, um, Let's see. Um, yeah, so some of my best memories, there was like parades, 4th of July parades, um, jumping on her trampoline, playing with her ferret who would bite my nose sometimes, there's the ferret, walking her dogs, um, just all kinds of things. We would do a little bit of everything together. We were just so close, like we were the friends, the friends, and I don't know, we would just do all kinds of things, so good times, good times. Um, just a really cool person. And my best friend now, her name is Emily. I call her Flower Girl. Just an inside joke. That's whatever, our thing. So she started this thing. I'm Emily 1.0 and she's Emily 2.0. We're born like so close. We're so close. Now. She's three days younger than me, actually. And so she's going to be 22 this year as well. So happy birthday to the Emilys. So yes, I may be older, but she's definitely wiser, so I'm not older and wiser, but she is kind of like my mom sometimes, like, she's my go-to person, like, we're just, we're so close, and I really trust her, and it's not like mother-daughter relationship, but it's more like sister and sister, like, she seems like the bigger sister, whatever, more, I don't know, she, she's really, I don't know what to say, because I love her, but, okay, um, <laughs> So, oh, and then my boo, my boy, my boyfriend, um, Chris, he, he helped me with a fact, and this is what he said. So he said as a joke, cute, but, <laughs> um, he thought, um, let's see, no, I think cute, but, I don't understand these notes, honestly, but cute, but was, I think, what I was going to say, like, that was my guess, so I thought that's what he would say, but then I also thought, like, maybe he would say always cold like how I'm always cold and he's like my personal heater but and I quote you tend to spend more time agonizing over what to do when you already know what you should do end quote and that's very true that's very me and makes me really stop and think he knows me very very well but okay so I look up to my Nana Frida that's the person who I really look up to and admire she has since passed she passed away when I was I think a junior in high school yeah 20 14, 2014, my junior year, just before my junior year, actually, yeah, so she was just crazy, spunky, very much, very much herself, and I really do admire that and love that in a person when they're just so sure of themselves and confident, and they have this self-love where they 
want to be themselves and want to be their best selves, and that's very her. I'm close to my other grandparents. Well, two of my, both my grandpas have passed away. One of my grandmas is still alive, my mom's mom. But I don't know, there's just, there's something about my Nana Frida, um, that grandma. <laughs> she, uh, she's, she's a very special lady, and I've been thinking about her a lot recently. So my favorite color is pink, the pretty kind of pink, baby pink. Um, I would change my favorite color a lot depending on my friend Delaney's favorite color choices which was the theme was to follow my favorite colors so it would be just all the time it would be me saying my favorite color is pink and she would say oh mine too and then favorite color green and then she would say oh me too so we would like feel the need to update each other on our favorite colors or something I don't know so there's that and then I did the combination pink and green and then I did the combination pink and purple and again she followed me and now we're back to pink although I do love blue I've been loving blue. Um, my favorite food is ice cream, and yes, it is a food. I used to have three bowls a day. That and taquitos, ice cream and taquitos. The Costco taquitos, which they have sadly enough changed, the recipe is off, and they're not as, you know, they're not as cheesy anymore. Now they're more, like, spicy. I don't know. So my favorite meal is either chicken and mashed potatoes, which is also my sister's favorite, my sister Ashley, or tomato soup and noodles, so it's a tie between those two. Tomato soup and noodles, I always thought that my Nana Frida invented it, so we would always have that up in Canada, me and my brother Dakota when we stayed with her, with them, my Canadian grandparents, and it's just, it's so good tomato soup. So my favorite drink place is called Roasters, it's back where I used to live, it's back in Washington, my old area, so it's similar to that of Dutch Bros, like all my money and time would go there. Um, pink lemonade is another favorite drink of mine, and not just because it's pink. So my favorite snack is Chex Mix. I love it. It's just so good. Fruit is like candy to me. I'm weird. I love fruit. Especially, I would say, raspberries and blueberries. My favorite number is 23. And not because of Michael Jordan. And also not because I'm born on the 23rd of November. But I just, I like those numbers together. 2 plus 3, 5, 5 kids. I don't know what consciousness, subconscious is there. So dogs are my favorite animal. I'm a dog person. Dogs rule and cats drool. Um, I have a wiener dog named Daxton. You can actually probably hear him right now. And I know if you watch me, you have seen him in my videos. Because I love to involve him. I love to be around him. And he is great. I love him so much. My favorite holiday is Christmas. It makes me happy. Although I don't necessarily believe in Christ at this time, this point in my life. I don't know if this is just a little small period phase of this, but just my, I don't know, my background being LDS and my viewpoints and my religious beliefs and stance on things right now for the time being anyway. Don't know why I said all that. Um, my favorite childhood memory is all those times my parents took us to Disneyland. Disneyland was my childhood and it is my future. Haha. <laughs> And we just had an annual pass expire, actually, but we went probably like four or five times this past year. Um, ended, I think, spring break it was. My favorite place on earth is Canada, more specifically my Nana Frida's house in Alberta. Best and, happy, best and happiest memories took place there. We would do walks and adventures. Me and my brother Dakota would jump on the trampoline. There were three in a row. I think it was two rectangle which is very unique, I think, for trampoline, and I think it's something else. One round, I don't know. And just all kinds of things. It was almost boring, but I think being bored is a good thing because it really makes you stop and think and enjoy life, and you have time to discover and explore and go on adventures, and I could just, I could talk about that all the time. My dad and I are actually planning a trip to go, hopefully this coming spring break, next year, 20. One tea. Yeah, this one time of the year. It is 2020 next year, right? Okay, so Canada. Um, love Alberta. It's Alberta, Calgary, Canada. That area where my grandma lived. Um, my favorite season is fall. Maybe if I get married, I'll get married in the fall and have a fall wedding. I love the colors. I'm the happiest, the most stable mentally in the fall. I have sad seasonal affective disorder and mine takes place in the warmer months. So this August, because it's nearing the actual fall time of the year, 
I'm feeling it a little bit like throughout my body and in my mind, which sounds ridiculous, but I think a fall wedding would be a lot of fun and I have all these Pinterest ideas if and when I get married. Uh, my favorite books are by Nicholas Sparks. I'm secretly a romantic and I've only read slash owned two of his books. I only have two right now. And, uh, I'm also rereading re -reading Twilight because I'm still in middle school. So that's a little blurb about my books right now. Well, I'm writing a book, but right. We'll get there. We'll get to that. My favorite book growing up, Charlotte's Web, Seen the Pages on Closet Doors. So if you remember my last room, I think since I've started making videos, there's been three rooms that you've seen, maybe. Um, well, you've only seen my first room once, because that was one single video. Then there was a big, like, dry spell with my videos. But anyway, the Charlotte's Web book, I took an old paperback book, and I still have the pages under my bed, still trying to figure out what to do with them. I put them on the closet, which is behind you. But my favorite movies are The Help, The Blind Side, The Pursuit of Happiness, The Impossible. They all start with the. I like those feel-good kind of movies. My favorite shows are Stranger Things, Pool, and Comedy. My favorite shows are Stranger Things and New Girl. I love the newest season of Stranger Things. Don't want to spoil it for you, but it is the scariest, and I like season one the most. Then it goes season three, and then it goes season two. Season two's alright, but I don't know. My guilty pleasures are the shows Pretty Little Liars and When Calls the Heart, because I'm me and I'm very corny. My mom and I watch When Calls the Heart. We call it When Calls the Fart, slash the two inch, because their waists are so small and everybody has to look like a model. Big boobs, inches like inch waist, you know, but, um, yeah, ramble. Uh, my favorite band is Bombay Bicycle Club. My sister actually introduced me to that band. I got into music more like early high school. Before then, I didn't really care about music or really know music. Um, Snow White is my favorite Disney princess. She's so cute and I want to be her when I grow up because she's so cute. I should be her for Halloween. My favorite teachers in high school, Nide and Westy, Nide Holt and Westerfield. I actually visited them before the move and the craziness of going, transitioning from Washington State to Idaho State, where I am right now. I saw them, they changed my life, they have just changed me as a person and they've morphed me into who I am today and it's so corny and cheesy, but they actually like saved my life. Just like, I love those teachers. Carnations are my favorite flowers aside from wildflowers. If I get married, I'll have both at my wedding, and I also want a garden when I have my own place, move out, whatever. Um, so, yeah, my future house, my house of my own, I want some wildflowers. My favorite word is euphoria, and yes, I have a favorite word. I love to write and have since I was little. And then, like, first grade, that was when I really thought that I wanted to write books. And that's been my goal, my dream ever since. And I want to make it happen. This next bit, I'm editing my first book to hopefully get published soon. It's going to be Jeremy. Not Jeremy, Jeremy. And you will see why it's that title if you read the book. If it gets published. Fingers crossed. Good luck to me. Um... Okay, I love photography and I want to get a legit camera, but I actually just actually got one from my cousin this past weekend, so like a week ago. There was like a family reunion, a wedding going on, and all this craziness on top of the move. We had just moved like the week before, so like back to back, all this craziness. Anyway, so I just need a new lens, the camera. My cousin was going to take it to DI, but then she saved it, and she was like, I think you will want it. I know you like photography. And I've had this Sony, Sony, I don't know, electronics, devices, whatever. But you're just a small little guy. I don't know much about you, but time to upgrade, update. I'll still use you. That sounds weird. But I don't know. I got a camera. It's free. It's nice. It's pretty big. It's blurry, though. The photos are blurry, according to my cousin. And I just got to get a new lens, and then I'll play around with that. So I love fashion. You've seen my hauls. You know this. Um, I love to run. I'm better with distance, not so much speed. I actually ran cross country in middle school and high school. My fastest time, it was eight minutes in high school, and now I can get down to like six or seven, but I'm way out of shape. So that was in the past, and currently still out of shape. I don't really run as much right now, just busy and honestly lazy in, in regards to that. But anyway, um, so I'm not that fast anymore. <clears throat> I do have exercise-induced asthma, that's why I had to stop track my first and last year of track my senior year. 
Um, I had to stop that. I just totally went cold turkey and I was done. I stopped going to the meets. I stopped going to practices and I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I'm a morning person, but I hate the afternoons. And right now it's 12:15, and I'm starting to feel it. So I'm an extrovert, but I need a lot of alone time. And I'm like the most introverted type of extrovert. Does that make sense? Introverted type of extrovert. Um, I'm ENFP personality type. I took a test. I took another test since my first one, which was my junior year of high school. And there's a video on that. My spirit animal is the spider. True story. I did take a test on that. I really don't like spiders. I'm not like my brother where like I squeal and scream when I see him. Not really. But he's more like internally terrified. But I mean, I'll be brave and squish them. And I'll have a good day. I'll feel really confident those days where... I start my day, my morning, with killing a spider. It sounds terrible. If you kill animals, you have problems. Like, there are facts or studies that show that link between, like, insanity and killing animals growing up and in life. But, right, I have masclophobia and arachnophobia. Um, but I just talked about that, so maybe not really. Maybe, like, a subtle version. So I guess I'm, like, scared of myself because that test says, like, a spirit animal spider but anyway Halloween's kind of sort of hard for me because of all the masks so I still like to dress up and have fun though but it's just it's kind of hard for me I love it but I hate it I used to be really quiet and shy I was like the mouse in school the mouse everywhere I went everywhere I was and I used to have a really bad stutter and I sometimes still stutter today you can probably hear that I try to correct myself sometimes and I do slip up and um makes me nervous. I'm really scared of the stutter, which can make it worse. So it's it's an ongoing fear, probably till the day I die, but there are worse things. Um, I'm naturally skinny and not anorexic, like all those bullies in school had thought. Um, middle school, my friends were starting to fill out and get curves, and then there was me, and I was long and tall, tall and small, and I've like never grown. Like, honestly, my height, since my height stopped, like, I just never filled out. So, like, I got my height first, and I was, like, what I got last. Like, I never, anyway. So, I had insomnia most of my life, but I'm sleeping better now because I've been on sleep meds since 2017. Um, so thanks to that, I can now sleep, and I can sleep, sleep, sleep for, like, hours. Before, it was, like, four hours a night. And then when I tried school, it was like an hour a night for two weeks, and I was going insane, so I had to leave. But anyway, then, um, yeah, I take Risperidone, and there can be another medicine, medication video, but can I get in trouble for that? Whatever. But yeah, it really seems to help. Just a low dose, that's all I really need. I've tried other things, but this is the thing that helps the most, and this is legit and it really does help. I can sleep like 70 hours and I take it and I'm tired. Okay, I'm afraid of the dark and I sleep with a nightlight. It's so my significant other, whatever, in my future. Um, they'll hate me when we live together. Um, they'll probably like kick me out or send me to the couch just because of the light. Like I'm really, really, really terrified, like petrified by the dark. I don't do well with it. Uh, my biggest pet peeve is when people ignore me. So not like in a conceited or selfish way, but just like when I'm talking to them and they're on their phone or they're not paying attention or they're just like, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, you know, just kind of like rude. Um, they, it's like they use the excuse like they couldn't hear me or, um, I don't know. But, uh, what else do I have here? Um, or else like asking to repeat myself, maybe that too is another pet peeve, like maybe they couldn't hear me but maybe they just say that. And then some people, they hate repeating themselves, and that's another pet peeve out there. Um, my biggest fear is stuttering. Talked a little bit about that. My dad says, if that's the biggest fear, I'll have a pretty great life. Pretty sweet life. I say that there are worse things. I feel like I'm only debating on going abroad to China because of my speech impediment, and that's really sad, and that's very true. But there are other reasons as to my hesitation regarding my trip to, my potential trip to going to China to teach English. But just, like, speech and that fear and just a lot of talking, you're teaching people English. And if English is hard for you, if speech talking is hard, you know. My most embarrassing moment so far in my life, it's like everything I do, it's so many things, there's like, there could be a list. Um, so, but I would just say, 
my freshman year, it wasn't my sophomore year, whatever it was, I was wearing this really sheer, pretty dress, and it was white, and it might as well have been like clear, see-through, not really, but um, I was wearing, I think it was pink pineapple underwear, which I do still have, because I don't grow, I swear that's what it was, um, anyway, it was bad, it was see-through, and people commented, and I didn't wear anything over like compression shorts or like another layer or like a slip. No, I think I was wearing a slip, but it was it was bad and I was in school and then I think I I changed. Did I go home? I don't even remember the story. I probably blocked it out of my memory. That's probably all I can remember just because I'm talking so fast because I wanted to block it out of my mind. So the dumbest thing I've ever done so far in my life. Um, I'm gonna talk about this another time. Well, if I feel like I can. I don't know if I can right now. But um, it's when I ran away, technically ran away. I was 18 and this was post high school. But um, I think I just, it was just a few days after my birthday actually and I just turned 19. Can't make eye contact with you guys because it makes me sad. It's hard to talk about. But um, yeah, it only lasted like four days. I moved in with someone kind of and then it just, it was, it was bad. So if there was a fire and I could only grab three things, hard drive, laptop, and my dog in that order, just kidding, that'd be terrible, my dog first, and then my hard drive, and then my laptop, my hard drive has all my pictures, this has things that I'm working on right now, and then every so often, every few weeks, I'll transfer them from my laptop to my hard drive, you know, gotta be careful, hard drives, they do die, I have a really nice one, it's like specific for the Mac. So I really have to transfer, get a new one. That's really like all I want for my birthday. I think it's like $100. I'm talking so fast. I really got to go and late. Uh, an appointment with my dad about organizing the house and stuff. So what do I do when I'm sad? I write. And what do I do when I'm happy? I write. Um, let me see what time we're at. I'm going to turn you around. The view. So I'm actually going to... Hi. I'm actually going to end it here. And then I'll start at the...